Okay, just as I thought, we are still playing Final Fantasy VII on the PC with a whole bunch of mods and shenanigans. Just as, just as I thought. The pictures are fake and... Let's go on. We are at the Northern Crater and we are uh, having a flashback to New Plame. Back when Sephiroth burned the place down. After which Shinra rebuilt the town for god knows what reason, we don't care. Because we're playing a video game apparently. Wherein you played the piano. Right. Huh. I wonder if that change is actually depending on what actions you have Cloud to do in the, uh, in the village before going to the reactor. Because Sephiroth speaks the truth. Cloud was rebuilt by Hojo. After a certain scene we will see later on. On disc 3. I think. I think it's on disc 3. Anyway. Um, just a random thought. If they ever make a, <laughs> if they ever make a um, you know, live action movie adaptation of Final Fantasy 7, if Scarlett Johansson doesn't play the role of Scarlett, I want a refund. <laughs> I will not have anything else. <laughs> I will not accept any less. Well, anyway, uh, we're playing Final Fantasy VII. It's a serious game. Serious story. Uh, serious face, turn on. These beasts start waking up where there's a threat to the planet, and they're kind of stirring right now. What are you doing just standing there talking about it, douchebags? You're failing to run away. But there is, of course, one important thing that we are here for. Sephiroth's body.
bad. Has anyone ever said it's kind of dumb to run around on uh, on a path with sheer drops on either side of it when you can't see a damn thing? I guess not. Oh, hey, Tifa. Yeah, it's uh, totally not suspicious at all that you are back here with Barrett instead of helping Cloud out. Erring on the side of caution. Ish. Sifiroth, you did not strike Tifa's pose. Sear so out of ten. Get in detention, boy. You're a bad villain. was an interesting way of getting up, by the way. And getting back up on his paws. Yeah, okay, so Scarlet's... Uh, um, she has some sense. <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure about the rest of them. Rufus, he feels it too. Cloud just appears out of nowhere. As you do. Not though that Kate, Sith, and Tief are here, um, my other two party members. But apparently, the others, well, the Shinra people can't see them or hear them. I. I don't get that. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I was just reflecting on this where everything be um, begins and ends. Uh, well, I mean, very often that is, um, well, in JRPGs, that is some kind of mythical location. I mean, within the mythology that a game world is built up on. Um, but that's kind of, like, uh, well, I mean, I could, you could argue that that is the case in Final Fantasy VII as well, but what Cloud is talking about here is Genova, who, as we have been told, came from a different planet. So Genova is an alien influence, not a god or anything, although she has some really funky abilities and properties and all that stuff. Uh, so this location... The only thing that is special with this location is because this is where Genova landed. Not that uh, the world was created here, or anything like that. Of course, I mean, uh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, you you do have, you do have the weapons here. Uh, you don't have the weapons 
sleeping anywhere else in the world. And we'll aim this Gaia. Mm. That is one thing that is a bit special with the story in Final Fantasy VII. Well, anyway, let's let's get moving. We have another disc to get through. Two. Cloud, um, are you going to do something? Huh. I have to press up on the uh, analog stick. I'll do things to the analog stick. game has gotten weird like this before, it's usually because Sephiroth has taken over control of Cloud. But at this point, it's weird. It's like, this is Cloud being in control, but he is resigned to the idea that he will end up causing what he is about to cause, which shows that he has some degree of control still, but he's not using that control to tell the others to do whatever, do whatever needs to be done to avoid almost destroying the world. I don't think this was very well done, if I'm gonna be honest. I mean, compelling, yes, it doesn't really... the game doesn't really suffer for it, but they could have done it differently and I would have liked it more. Or I would have felt the... Or I, will, uh, I would have felt Tifa's horror more acutely, more strongly. Okay, let us just um, get the cutscenes rolling. should apologize. Cloud, you dingus. Oh, Joe, maintain your elevation for fuck's sake. You're not that insane of a scientist. Yeah. Right, this line here. Like I said. It would have made more sense if Cloud was more clearly under Sephiroth's control in this situation, which he is again not entirely. So why would Cloud be at all concerned with the number? I mean, his clone number. I mean, you could argue that he's trying to pull a fast one over on Hojo. But... I won't buy it. Square kinda messed up there, I would say. Okay, well, I think I don't need to speak anymore. 
Hojo. Clones. Not copies. Clones. Hmm. Although... Well... Well, it, it clones do mean a different uh, thing in... Um, in uh, at least immunology. Uh, where you have, you know, mono or polyclonal antibodies. Mm, just... Anyway. It's just a random aside. Let's carry on. Sephiroth clones, not copies. I'm starting to disapprove of the translation, actually. No, and I'm just being very humble. sure about this <laughs> uh, we, I mean we did see that Sephiroth kind of broke in and stole Genova <laughs> uh, but well if that's what you choose to believe you're free to do so
Well, for those who saw what happened in um, the uh, PSP game Crisis Core, at this time he was just recovering from um, uh, a really bad case of uh, Marco poisoning. So, um, so that's the reason that he would look a bit worse for wear. But uh, he claims he's fine, and because Genova, he is fine, I guess. You know, these little um, glints of light, I, I meant to reflect on it before, but uh, I mean, that's kind of how you did it in the previous console generation, right? Super Nintendo and Mega Drive, that kind of thing. Uh, there, are, there are so... Well, I, I wouldn't say so many, but... Uh, I mean, there may have the, the little quirks to this game. I see a connection to how they would make games for previous console. Well, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's sort of like this is at its heart a Super Nintendo JRPG with a new coat of paint, pretty much. For the uh, new technology of the ever so fancy 33 megahertz CPU PlayStation. Um, well, anyway, random reflection aside, let's move on. This is a big reveal. We are being very serious, being very respectful. And this is factually incorrect, which Cloud will point out during um, the later stages of disc 2. That explains why Tifa has been dot dotting so much and not calling Cloud out on uh, different things. end this episode as soon as we get to a save point. And who knows, I might just be starting uh, um, capturing um, Vachonreder in between episodes. Exciting stuff ahead. Tifa, didn't you used to say ding? <laughs> or am I mixing that up with a, with a later cutscene? Actually, 
one thing I would like to ask is if Tifa's been out for a couple of days, what could possibly have knocked her out like that? What sort of drug has she been on has she been on? And um, Barrett, how come you did not shoot out all of June on to prevent that? Cloud will have words with you when he gets back. One very eventful week, as we will soon see. Oh, you mean the guardian spirits of the world that is now going to come out and just bust shit up independently? Which is a bit strange, although it would suggest that Sephiroth has a degree of control over this barrier wherever he is. Which, given the game world mechanics, does actually make some degree of sense. And it's plausible anyway. You speak my language. Well, you're kind of locked up as well, but who cares about that? And yeah, what about Meteor? Can you bleak music? Phrase. <sighs> Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. Okay, can I save the game now? I'm here, I can't, apparently. Ah, there we go. So, this has been a very eventful time. 
And um, after this episode, I am going to start working on the uh, Bachman Render. Let's play. Um, yeah, so that is that. See you in the next episode. Oh, wow, I can't believe it's only been 25 and a half hours. <laughs> Holy shit, this game <laughs> throws a whole bunch of crap at you. Okay, well, like I said, see you on the next one.